Our focus for this unit is to observe and identify materials that dissolve in water and those that do not dissolve in water. Now, to dissolve means to break apart completely, to disappear. So help, try to remember that. Use disappear, disappear completely, break apart completely as we move through the unit as your way of remembering what dissolve means. Some things dissolve in water. Some things disappear completely when they're added to water. Some things do not. So I've got in front of me a sample of sand. That's from Naples Beach. I've got some table salt, baking soda, sugar, and flour. And we're gonna test each one of these materials to see if they dissolve in water or they do not. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of each material into the container. Close those back up, put them so you can see what's what. And now we'll go down the line and add some water to each one of these. Now we're gonna give them just a minute to, to do their thing. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shake anything, stir anything. I'm just going to let them sit and see what happens. Now I can tell just by looking at it that some of the salt has already dissolved or disappeared completely in the water. I can't see it. So I'm going to go down the line now and just give each one a few gentle stirs. Shake off the excess. So we've given each of these materials a little bit of a stir. We've given them some time. And what we've discovered is that the sand did not dissolve or break apart completely in the water. In fact, if I reach in with my spoon, I can lift out a spoonful of sand. The salt is almost completely gone. There's still a few particles left in the bottom, but nowhere near as much as when I poured that in. So the salt did dissolve in water. Same thing with the baking soda. Baking soda has almost completely dissolved in water, and so has sugar. In fact, the sugar is completely gone. I can't see anything at all. There's no particles left in there. Now, the flour did not dissolve in water. When I reach in with my spoon, I can still pull flour out. So sand and flour are examples of things that do not dissolve in water. Salt, baking soda, and sugar are examples of materials that dissolve or break apart completely in water.